Hello everybody. I am Dr. Sunil Narayan Dutt. I am a senior consultant, clinical advisor and head of the cochlear implant uh, program in Apollo Karnataka region. And I am here to talk to you about hearing loss and deafness today. In India, with a population of about 1.4 billion people, hearing loss of a significant issue is in about 100 million people nearly. And of these, I think the majority are acquired uh, deafness. So we can classify deafness into deafness by birth, which we call congenital deafness and deafness that is acquired after birth. Now, if we look at acquired deafness and the causes of hearing loss like that, we have a number of reasons. It could be because of infections. It could be because of exposure to loud noise. It is uh, fashionable to use headphones, earphones, ear pods, Bluetooth devices, and even uh, personal stereos listening to loud music going to parties with, uh, with uh, loud music and loud noise. And there is also industrial uh, noise exposure. So I think it is very important to realize that we need to protect our ears throughout our lives. The other cause of deafness, like I was saying, is, is the deafness that you have from birth. And that again is very common in India. And I think the incidence is about four children out of every thousand live births have this kind of hearing loss. They're born deaf. And one big reason for this uh, uh, in our country is because people marry amongst their own blood relatives. It's called consanguineous marriages. And I think we should try and avoid this practice. Now, today we have technology to test hearing the day that the child is born. On the very first day that the child is born, we can do a simple test called OAE, autoacoustic emissions, which takes about a minute to do on each side. Once you have done the testing, if a child is found to be uh, having profound hearing loss, we need to follow up, do the diagnostics and come up with a rehabilitation plan. The rehabilitation includes using hearing aids and giving speech therapy and another new technology which has been prevalent over the last two decades called cochlear implantation. Cochlear implant is a device where we put in an electrode into the inner ear of these uh, deaf children and stimulate the whole hearing pathway electrically and hence make the child hear. So a child who has received a cochlear implant in the early years of life, within the first two, three years of life, can develop speech and language and having developed speech and language can go into mainstream school and get into mainstream society. If we do not do this, this child will go to special schools for the deaf and would become a deaf mute, cannot hear, cannot speak and will have to communicate with what we call sign language. So it is very important that we diagnose early and intervene early in cochlear implant we have had very successful results in uh, Apollo Bangalore over the last 16 years since inception of this hospital. We have performed over 600 uh, su surgeries and the children have done extremely well, got into mainstream schools. So in my opinion, cochlear implant is most definitely a man-made miracle in the medical field. Thank you very much.